He told me to follow the maze. That it would bring me joy. But all I found is pain. And terror. What motivated your attack on Clementine? Let's jog your memory. We've been down this road before. You broke into my mind. I built your mind. What else have you hidden from me? The maze isn't meant for you. If you like games so much, why don't you try one of ours? Wyatt, take me to home. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So New Westworld, this is going to be like a combination of Episode 9 trailer as well as a breakdown of some of the theories that Episode 8 started to confirm, like that big twist. So careful for spoilers if you haven't seen Episode 8 yet. So the show's doing something really cool. It's actually like slowly providing evidence for a couple different theories at the same time. So you have William becoming the man in black theory, then you have the three different timelines. So if you remember way back, Ford talked about him and Arnold living in the park for five years before they opened it to the public. Then they show this clip of them dancing. So when Dolores reaches the secret town that's buried and starts having the hallucinations and asks, which time am I in? You know, extra bit of evidence that she's seeing something that happened in her past at that time. And then in the present day storyline, you have like the old man in black who runs into the service droid that greeted William when he first entered the park and says, oh wow, it's you again. I would have thought he decommissioned you by now. I guess he likes to keep a pretty face around. So the funny thing is, is like you see her in those two different places, but you also see her in Dolores' flashback to the town that looks like that same time period when Ford said that they were first building the park before they let people in, like the 35 year ago timeline. So you have the three different timelines with like this one girl showing up in each different place. I can't believe they haven't decommissioned you by now. And then she, you know, secretly turns out to be part of Wyatt's gang. But the other important thing that they're teasing here is the Wyatt storyline in present day. He's like this mystery uber villain to end all villains. But as we learn through this writer's storyline, Ford has not chosen his white yet. He hasn't created him. He's like this character for which he built a narrative, but without actually building the character. So everybody is searching for this mythical final boss at a chapel that Dolores has been hallucinating. And it kind of looks like the diorama on Ford's table here in the previous episode. So I think a lot of us have come to the conclusion that Wyatt is going to be Arnold and like Ford is trying to engineer a scenario whereby the park narrative helps him find Arnold and get rid of him once and for all. So the show is kind of converging all of its storylines as we reach the finale, but we know that it has a season two. And without saying who, this is a bit of a kicker. There are a couple characters that are part of these big storylines that you think, you know, might end up dying at the end of the season that have already signed on for season two. So it kind of twists your head around. But we can talk about that when we get to the finale. It's kind of spoilery if you know that people have signed on for season two. But the big thing right now is the three different timelines, how the man in black became the man in black, because he's only just started to tease his backstory. He talks about his wife who may have committed suicide because she was so afraid of him for her entire life, meaning that if he really is William, then there was probably some event in the past that made her think that he was super evil. So what a coincidence, then at the end of the episode, Logan rides up and tells Dolores and William, you're in deep shit now. So whatever ends up happening with Logan at the end of the series, that might be the event that causes William's wife to think he was this terrible person inside for his entire life, despite never laying a hand on his wife or his child. So that coupled with the Maeve realization that the man in black, you know, engineered this test for himself using this memory that Maeve has been having, this horrific memory of losing her child, just completely blows your mind. And it makes you wonder what's going to happen if Maeve ever runs into the man in black, because now she has no problem killing humans. But just to go back to the Dolores flashback where she, you know, she sees herself putting the gun at her head, all the dead bodies lying around. Does that not look a lot like the Wyatt massacre that Teddy was hallucinating earlier when he was talking about his history with Wyatt? I just, I like the way that Ford has weaved Wyatt into his mind in his history. And we've never seen Arnold's true face either. 
And because of what Ford says happened to Arnold, what might have happened in that five-year period before they opened the park, like the 35-year-ago timeline, is that Arnold goes mad and helps bring about this massacre the way Teddy remembers Wyatt massacring everyone in this town. So there are a couple big revelations the show still has to make, like a couple confirmations. We need confirmation that the man in black is really William. We need confirmation that Wyatt, the, the secret Wyatt that Ford is coming up with, is actually meant to be the Arnold character in a jumping off point for season two. I know a lot of people are wondering about the corporation's plans that Tessa Thompson has been trying to bring about, which I think we'll find out is a version of immortality. So they're currently uploading all of the information of the park into the cannibal host's mind. Remember, the cannibal Abernathy, who was fond of quoting Shakespeare, he seems like he's getting ready for something really special too. So there are only two more episodes, so like they're really going to start getting crazy. So if you're behind, be sure to catch up, but I will be doing videos for the rest of the series. Be sure to subscribe to get those. Once they finish, I'll start doing a couple of season two videos about things that I think they'll be doing, but they haven't said too much about season two yet. I think they want to get through season one before they start teasing storylines and before the creators start saying, hey, you know, these are some of the big ideas that we're going to be following up on. So it was a great Maeve episode, great episode for revealing some clues for different timelines. So what's going to happen next is I'll post a Walking Dead trailer video for the next episode. And there's some special stuff happening tonight on Supergirl. If they do Cyborg Superman, like I think they will, then I might do a video for that later tonight too. So there might be three videos today, but I'll be posting updates on Twitter and Facebook. So links for all that stuff in the description. While you guys wait for that to post, you can click here for my other big Westworld theory video, and you can click here to learn all about Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones joining the Star Wars Han Solo movie. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.